You go ahead. Most of what you're going to see on the Vale tree farm is Douglas fir. There is some minor species, but probably 70-75% of the species here is Douglas fir. It's a native species to the northwest, but in addition to that, it's got some superior structural strength that's really important for home building application. And, uh, and so it, the, the lumber that comes from the Douglas fir is used around the world in a variety of building applications. It grows very well here in the Northwest, and um, it's, it's a great species, a lot of value, so that's why we focus on Douglas fir. We call this a working forest. Uh, we, we're planning long-term for successive rotations off of these properties. Once the seedlings get established, then we can do things to optimize their growth. We can thin them, we can fertilize them. So there's a lot of the same similarities between growing vegetables and, and growing uh, Douglas fir forests. Generally, when we've harvested an area, we'll replant somewhere between 350 and 450 trees per acre. Uh, and we expect that the final crop will be somewhere between 180 and 220 trees per acre. Our rotation age is somewhere between 40 and 50 years old. On the more gentle slopes, that has become more mechanized. Uh, with feller bunchers now, again, large machines with cutting heads on them that are able to move around, grab the tree, cut it off at the base, lay the tree down in a pile, which can then be forwarded to the uh, roadside. Depends on the, the type of timber it's in and the slope, but, but a feller buncher generally can cover one and a half to three acres a day. And uh, so again, if you, if you have 200 stems per acre, that might be 600 stems a day if they're doing three acres a day. Well, the idea is that you can do this forever. I mean, this is our this is our bank account. You know, mm -hmm. if if we're depleting our bank account and the capital in it, we're we're not doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. And Douglas fir is a sun-loving species. Mm -hmm. So, you really, if you want to maximize the growth in Douglas fir, you um, you want to operate on an even-aged management unit. Um, it also is actually very efficient as well. So this is a Warta 624C with the 360 rotate. But anyway, he's got two saws on it. He's got a main saw and a topping saw. So he grabs the tree and he picks the tree up and he looks at it and he grades the tree, meaning whether he thinks it's, there's a domestic segment in it or an export segment. And then he chooses whether it's uh, Japan fur, China fur, domestic fur for our various sorts. And he pushes the button and so when it starts feeding that tree, it's picking the, the highest value log based on the length and the diameter that it can get out of their stem. And the computer's thinking in kind of a nanosecond, faster than a human can. And then it stops, and it beeps at you, and it shows you on the screen the log length and what you chose to make it, whether it's Japanese export or a China export or a domestic log. It's measuring the length, it's measuring the diameter as it feeds through, and it's limbing it at the same time because those little flippers are sharp. When they're laying here in this kind of unfinished form, sometimes it's a, it's a little bit difficult to, to look at. But, but I'll just tell you some of the things that we're looking at. So you, you see the sweep on that, the butt of that log? Mm -hmm. That would not be suitable for the manufacture of Japanese beans. 
Uh, they're looking for straight segments of logs that they can then use to cut beams out of that go in post and beam style housing in Japan. Mm. So there's, there's too much sweep for this particular log to go into that application. Mm -hmm. So that would be cut into a, a log that would be go into a domestic sawmill for the manufacture of 2x4, 2x6 lumber, where the sweep is less critical. But uh, you're probably looking at, at something like uh, 200 board feet per log. This is, this is going to get sorted and it's going to get cleaned up and the planting will happen within, um, we have 99% of our, um, our plant, our clear-cut acres are replanted within two years and we actually keep track of that mm -hmm. in the U.S. That's part of our uh, certification is to make sure that we're, we're um, replanting right away and keeping track of that and getting to um, grow the next the next crop.